from hidden labyrinths and serpentine statues to strange spheres and ancient instruments that defy logic. Here are 12 of the most mysterious, unexplained artifacts ever found. 12. Witch Bottles These artifacts have been found in Europe and in the US, and they grew in popularity after witchcraft scares during the 17th century. Experts say the objects were used as a type of spell to protect the owner from the effects of witchcraft. More often made of glass or stoneware, they would often contain a combination of objects like fingernails, hair, pins and needles. About 200 of these items have been located so far, but we might never know the exact purpose since there's not much documentation to go along with them. That's because secrecy was part of the ritual that surrounded witch bottles and other objects intended to ward off the effects of evil spirits and black magic. 11. Mysterious Meteorite Polana Rua is the name of a city in Sri Lanka where an alleged meteorite fell in 2012. Analysis conducted by researchers revealed that the outer space rock had some extra qualities. It contains fossils and algae that could be extraterrestrial in origin. Now, the lead researcher, Dr. Chandra Wickramsinga, claims this is evidence of panspermia, or the hypothesis that extant life in the galaxies is spread by solid forms of space debris like meteorites. Now, as you would expect, the doctor has his share of critics, many of whom stipulate that the meteorite is actually a terrestrial rock, and they say that the life forms found are really freshwater species from right here on Earth. But maybe that is simply evidence of the meteorite being contaminated since arriving here. What do you think? 10. Dropa Stones Hundreds of these mysterious stone disks were said to have been kept in storage in China and allegedly date back some 12,000 years, give or take. Measuring around a meter in diameter, the disks display double spirals. The grooves are thought to contain a series of minuscule hieroglyphs that, when deciphered, tell a fantastic story. That being, an ancient race called the Dropa apparently visited our planet ages ago, but when the spacecraft crash-landed, they had no choice but to remain here on Earth and adapt. Do you think it really could have happened? 9. The Williams Enigma Lith now you can easily file this one under something you don't see every day. A rock with what appears to be an electrical plug embedded within it. It was discovered in 1998 by a hiker named John J. Williams, who noticed that the rock contained what appeared to be a man-made electrical component poking out of it. Williams, who is an electrical engineer, claims there is no evidence of the plug-like shape being glued into the rock. Now, if anything, the rock formed around the odd device. Sources claim that geological analysis has estimated this rock at around 100,000 years old, and if that holds up, then there is no way the object could have been created by humans. However, Mr. Williams does have a few conditions for setting the record straight. He will allow anyone to research his enigma -lith only if he is present at the time, and that someone else pays the tab for research, and that the rock itself remains undamaged. 8. The Cockner Stone Thought to date back some 5,000 years, this stone slab contains Stone Age carvings and is considered to be one of the most important works of art in Europe. Discovered in 1887 in Scotland, the Cockner Stone was buried near a housing estate in Clydebank. It was re-excavated by archaeologists so they could analyze it in depth. At 42 feet by 26 feet, the rock exhibits grooved spiral shapes and indentations referred to as cup and rings. Experts think the unusual petroglyphs could have been used as a means of marking certain territories like hunting grounds, or they might even represent an unknown unit of measurement. Along with the purpose of the strange carvings, the identity of the prehistoric people who created them remains a mystery as well. 7. Roman Dodecahedron Dating to the 2nd century AD, these oddly shaped objects have been discovered across Europe, with about a hundred of them located from Wales to Spain to Hungary in particular. Measuring up to some 11 centimeters in size, the objects display 12 flat pentagonal or five-sided faces. Within each face can be found a circular hole that varies in diameter, which forms a connection to the hollow center. The question of what purpose these objects might have served has inspired a lot of debate. No written account of the object's function has yet been found, 
Theories include that the Romans may have used the objects as weapons, or they may have been used for surveying and measuring distances. The spheres may even have played some role in religious practices, since so many of them have been discovered in temples. No one has come up with a definitive explanation. 6. Codex Gigas Weighing some 165 pounds and measuring 36 inches high, this is the largest medieval illuminated manuscript known to exist in the world. Now, also known as the Devil's Bible, it was produced in the 13th century by a Benedictine monastery in Bohemia, or what is now the present-day Czech Republic. During the Thirty Years' War, the Swedes took the Codex Gigas as spoils of battle. It's now kept in the National Library of Sweden, but cannot be viewed by the public. Composed of more than 300 sheets of vellum made from the skin of 160 donkeys, the big book contains a complete Vulgate Bible, along with other varied works, including an encyclopedia and medical reference efforts. A legend attached to the book says that the massive tome was written in a single night by a monk who had made an unholy pact with the devil and the monk included the devil's picture in the work as a way of saying thank you. Now, in fact, the Codex Gigas is called the Devil's Bible due to the legend and due to the presence of an unusual full-page portrait featuring the evil one. 5. Strange Stone Labyrinths in Russia's Salavetsky Archipelago is where you find Bolshoi Zayatsky. It's an island that contains sacred sites and villages built by prehistoric peoples who lived there as long ago as 3000 BC. And those inhabitants apparently had a fondness for boulders. There are more than 800 of the stones that are found throughout the region arranged in heaps. Now, very little is known about the builders, nor why they built these unusual stone labyrinths on the island. They are constructed primarily from boulders set in rows, with the majority set in a spiral shape. Some even have a double spiral from that resembles two snakes with the heads meeting in the middle. While their exact purpose is still unknown, experts do conjecture that the stone structures may symbolize a boundary between this world and the underworld. Specific rituals may have been performed in the labyrinth that help the soul of the dead travel on to the next life. 4. The Betts Mystery Sphere in 1974, members of the Betts family in Florida were inspecting the damage done from a brush fire that ravaged their 88-acre property. That's where they found a strange silver sphere. The smooth orb was about 8 inches in diameter and had no visible markings except for a triangular shape that was stamped onto its surface. Unsure of just what it might be, the family took it with them, and soon after, the object began exhibiting some peculiar qualities. Stories of the strange sphere attracted an onslaught of media attention and experts eager to examine the object. An analysis by the Navy revealed that it was nothing more than a ball made of stainless steel. But it's still not certain just what the sphere is or who made it. 3. Flocked Fiat Scattered across the marshes and waterways of Ireland are found some 6,000 mysterious artifacts known as Falakt Fayat. In the UK, they're called Burnt Mounds and are said to date back to the Bronze Age, around 1500 BC. Shaped similar to horseshoes, the mounds are made of stone and soil and encircle a depression large enough to accommodate a car. Whether they are found alone or in groups of up to six, these objects are always located near a source of water and they are typically found far away from settlements. Archaeologists conducted an experiment that suggests the ancient sites may have been used to produce a drinkable light ale. There is still no conclusive explanation for just what these strange formations were used for. 2. Ubide Lizardmen did a race of reptilians visit the prehistoric peoples of ancient southern Mesopotamia? The pre-Sumerian Ubaid people inhabited the area as far back as 6500 BC, and some artifacts were found that have been estimated to coincide with the time of the Ubaid. The statuettes are about the size of an adult hand and depict creatures with distinctly reptilian features. They're displayed in poses wearing armor and wielding staffs or scepters. The elongated heads and angled eyes give them the appearance of lizards, and that has led some to believe that the artifacts represent some sort of serpent god. More esoteric theories suggest the statuettes depict a mysterious race of reptilians. Archaeologists do not have much contextual evidence regarding the sites in which they were found, and that has made it difficult to establish their exact purpose. For now, there are no definitive answers regarding these artifacts. 1. Rat Kings 
Reports of this phenomenon date to the mid-16th century and have been reported in Germany in particular. The rat king occurs when several of the rodents have the tails entangled by sticky materials like gum or sap. When that happens, all of the rats face outwards from the central knot and behave like a single composite beast. Other sources claim that there is one rat leader who stays suspended in the middle and serves to direct the other rodents. Specimens of rat kings are said to be kept in various locations around the world, and that includes Germany's Mauritiana Museum, which purports to contain the largest rat king on record. Did you know this phenomenon happens so rarely that rat kings have sometimes been considered cryptids? And it doesn't only happen with rats, by the way. Squirrel kings and mice kings have also been reported. 